Let me ask you something. What's the most you ever lost in a coin toss? Like many Cohen Brothers pictures, No Country for Old Men involves missing cash and gruesome deaths. What's in the satchel? A bowl of money. This film is being hailed one of their best to date. In America, it's just been named Picture of the Year by the influential National Board of Review, which seems to have a knack for singling out who may win big prizes during award season. It's a mess, ain't it, Sheriff? If it ain't, it'll do till the mess gets here. In trademark style by the professionally inseparable brothers, they co-wrote, co-directed, and co-edited this film. And today, not ones for unpicking the message, they're gingerly co-explaining whether it does, as reviewers say, portray a West that has lost its old moral frontiers. The attitude of Tommy Lee Jones' character in the novel and in the movie is that, yes, things are kind of going to hell and life isn't what it once was and everything is less civil and more violent and more horrible than it used to be. It certainly made an impression on me. There's kind of a corrective scene where an older man who tells him, you know, it's always, it's always been uh, hard out here. It's just all about war. I mean, to a large extent, it's a story about getting old. You know Adapted from a Cormac McCarthy novel, reviewers are particularly taken with how the film brings to life this monster. Javier Bardem plays a relentless killer on the trail of the money with his own perverse code of honor. You need to call it. I can't call it for you. Well, it wouldn't be fair. I didn't put nothing up. Yes, you did. You've been putting it up your whole life. You just didn't know it. During our interview, a publicist interrupts to tell us that over in L.A., Javier and the Coens have just been nominated for four Golden Globes, that January award show that's a dress rehearsal for the Oscars. The filmmaker's response is delightfully understated. All righty. Thank you. See, that'll help. Right. And, you know, now they can put Golden Globe... It was Golden Globe, right? Nominee on... Uh, the ad, and people in somewhere are going to go, oh, okay, maybe I should go and see that. <laughs> they have a rare mixed response to whether the hits help them keep on experimenting. Uh, I don't think of them as experiments, but, but yeah, it's definitely true. Sense. It's definitely true. What it means is that, look, they're giving you a little bit more rope to hang yourself. Absolutely. You know, if you get an award or if the movie makes a, a lot of money, they're going to give you just a little bit more rope, and and um, sure, that's great. Buenos dias. Known as the two-headed director, the brothers have a reputation for harmony and for being absolutely united in what they want. A lot of people who've worked with you say it doesn't matter which one they go to, they'll get exactly the same answer on set. It's actually largely, probably, a good 90% of that is a function of the fact that by the time we're on the set, we've gone through the exercise of having written the script together. So certainly, at the end of that process, we're in sync about, we understand the material the same way, or we couldn't have written the script together. Their pens are now down till the writer's strike is over, but they're in a good position. No Country opens here in January, yes, and they've already shot their next picture, another collaboration with George Clooney.